This is Elozoma. These transparent microanalids inhabit soils and decaying material in stagnant water, using cilia to move about. Like other annelids, Elozoma has a segmented body, roundworms and flatworms aren't segmented, generally consisting of about 17 segments. All but the first segment, after the head, bear sets of bristle-like structures called seti or chidi. The mouth is fringed with constantly moving cilia that create a vacuum cleaner effect, whisking up microscopic plants and organisms. The worms range in size from 1 minus 2 millimeters, but often occur in long chains of immature worms, called zooids, up to 10 millimeters. These chains are produced by asexual budding, the means by which Elosoma reproduces. These aquatic worms belong to the family Elosomatidae, which was recently put in its own class, a Afaninura, along with the class Potamondrolidae. Some biologists, however, still classify this tiny worm in the class Oligarchida, the same class to which the common earthworm belongs. Currently, more than 830 species of annelids representing 27 families, 12 orders, and 5 classes Oligarchida, Afaninura, Branchiobdeli, Acanthobdeli, and Herudinia are recognized as a Occurring all over the world, these include both native and introduced species. Eulozoma is a genus of minute annelid worms, variously attributed either to oligochetes or polychaetes. Unlike most polychaetes, they reside in freshwater environments in various parts of the world. Elosoma are transparent worms, very thin and of the length of 1.5-2 mm. They usually reproduce asexually. This is done by paradomy fragmentation, when the posterior segments are separated from the parent worm. It starts when the worm reaches a certain number of millimeters depending on the species. Only one species, Elosoma singular, is known to reproduce sexually. Elosoma feed on microalgae, microorganisms, and detritus. Their mouth acts like a small vacuum cleaner, which helps them suck up their food into their system. Elosomatidae are hermaphrodites, however sexually reproduction only occurs rarely or sporadically. Most reproduction is asexual by paradomy. Fission means fragmentation as posterior segments break away or detach from the parent worm. Like many aquatic invertebrates, changes in the assemblage, composition, and species abundances of elosomatids have proven useful as biological indicators of organic pollution in freshwater systems. Although oligarchy worms naturally coexist with cladosrins in many shallow freshwater ponds and lakes, their influence on the latter is not well established. In this work we studied the effect of Elosoma sp. on the population growth of Alona rectangula, Syriadaphnia dubia, Daphnia pulex, Macrothrix triceriales, and Moina macrocopa. Population growth studies were conducted at 1 algal food density 1 times 106 cells ml1 of chlorella vulgaris. The experimental design was similar for all five cladosrin species, where scientists used 100 ml capacity transparent jars containing 50 ml of EPA medium with the desired algal density, and three replicates for each treatment. The test medium was changed daily and fresh algal food was added. The initial density of each of the cladosrin species in the population growth studies was 0.4 indem L1 while that of the worms 1.0 indem L1. Following inoculation, scientists estimated daily the number of cladosrins and the worms for duration of 21 days. Regardless of the presence of worms, Moina macrocopa and Macrothrix triceriales showed rapid population growth while a rectangula took more than two weeks to reach peak abundances. With the exception of M. triceriales, all the other R. cladosrin species declined in the presence of Elosoma sp. The lowest peak population density about 1 indem L1 was observed for M. triceriales in controls. The remaining species had peak densities of about 3, 5 indem L1. The rates of population increase per day varied from 0.03 to 0.19 depending on the cladosrin taxa and the treatment. In general scientists found that pelagic taxa were more adversely affected by the presence of the worms than were the literal cladosrins. Thank you for joining this journey with us, and thanks to those wonderful people who are supporting this channel, as we explore the unseen world. If you want to see more from our Master of Microscope then like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon.
Thanks for watching.